true. This is about reconciliation. The problems that exist in tribalism in Kenya have been there for years. They need to be dealt with long term. <laughs> You know, we have uh, said many times what options we are putting on the table. You, you know all of them. You, you know one of them is a transitional or an interim government. Uh, another one is a power sharing formula. Another one is that we will have uh, a rerun of the elections. Another one is that we will have uh, a retelling of the results. Uh, so, under obviously. Uh, what was the, is the responsibility from that the party and Raila will meet today? I have no idea. I have absolutely no idea. As you know, our conditions for meeting with Mr. Kibaki have been very clear. So unless those conditions are met, uh, there will be no meeting. But if they are met, uh, obviously they will meet. But so what we are saying is that I think the, all Kenyans have a right, and the international community have a right to know the truth, and the truth is that these killings would not have occurred as a result of tribal clashes. We are here to report um, allegations of crime committed by certain people who, is, who are from the uh, Electoral Commission of Kenya. <laughs> we are very many. We are all just Kenyans concerned. When the, well, the one institution all of us had pretty high confidence in, the Electoral Commission, messed us up as the way they did, and we all know they messed us up. We're not, we're not saying that, uh, that, that uh, we're not saying there's a, we don't know who the winner is. And, and, and when they can go ahead and announce a winner, when then, then they come back and say we don't know the winner. We see it on television, the confusion going on, issues are raised, they're being ignored. Surely then all our institutions are bashed.